So in this video, I want to kind of just give a summary of what's going on as far as amino acid metabolism in the liver goes. Um, up to the top left here, we've got amino acids that have come from the digestion of dietary proteins. And before we can actually oxidize them for energy, we have to remove their amino groups and turn them into their alpha keto acid counterparts. And that happens via transamination catalyzed by amino transferases or transaminases. Um, and of course, that requires uh, starting with alpha ketoglutarate and the amino group ends up being attached to alpha ketoglutarate and collecting on glutamate. And so once we have these alpha keto acids, we can oxidize them um, for energy. And uh, I haven't, I'm not going to talk about that in this video series. I'm going to talk about more about the uh, pathways of the oxidation of those amino acids and their alpha keto acid counterparts in another series. Um, I won't really talk about that here. The point here, though, is just sort of the overview. Uh, you'll notice that a bunch of arrows end up pointing at this glutamate here. And we'll see why in just a second. Let's see where the, uh, the uh, glutamates are coming from uh, from elsewhere. So up here to the top right, we've got uh, another transamination reaction, the alanine amino transferase reaction. Of course, the amino group attaching to this alpha ketoglutarate to produce glutamate is coming from alanine. And uh, that alanine, of course, is coming from the muscle tissue. From muscle tissue. And that's an amino transferase um, catalyzing that, specifically alanine amino transferase. Uh, the pyruvate that results from that can, of course, in the liver go through gluconeogenesis to produce glucose, and that can be sent back to the blood um, in the glucose alanine cycle. So I didn't actually write that here, but I'll write it the glucose alanine cycle. Okay, to send that uh, glucose back into the muscle cells. Um, another, another, um, and of course, the product of that trans transamination reaction, we get that glutamate there. Uh, we also get glutamate from hydrolyzing the amide nitrogen off of glutamine via the glutaminase reaction. Um, and that glutamine is coming from a bunch of extra hepatic tissues, which of course are just tissues other than the liver. So we're going to hydrolyze off that amide nitrogen and that'll be freed up as an ammonia and, um, and then glutamate. Now, of course, that glutamate is basically carrying that nitrogen. Um, and so oxidative deamination, uh, NAD or NAD plus or NADP plus, glutamate dehydrogenase reaction gives us some NADH or NADPH and that free ammonium ion, which of course can be detoxified in the urea cycle to give urea, which can be safely excreted. Okay, so that's kind of what's going on here. A bunch of nitrogen is collecting here and being freed up here to be detoxified. And this is all really to get um, these amino acids into their alpha keto acids, which of course can be oxidized for energy. And again, we'll see that in a different um, series of videos. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful to kind of put this all together in one big picture. Thanks for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.